Founding Fathers versus Modern Patriots. A lot of people have this thought that they can bring America back, make America great again, we can restore the Republic, we can bring it back to the way it once was, the glory days and whatever else. Um, because after all, the Founding Fathers did it so we could do it. Well, um, not going to happen. Let me give you a couple reasons why it's not going to happen. Okay, first of all, modern patriots are usually a bunch of foul-mouthed, uh, fornicating, you know, drunken, perverted, tattooed, you know, walking sideshows, and uh, they're going to somehow restore the republic. And they wonder why their freedoms keep being taken away. Well, maybe you better look into what the founding fathers actually were. They were God-fearing men, all right? Um, and I'm not even talking about the, the guys that wrote the Declaration of Independence and, you know, all the famous founding fathers. I'm talking about the guys that actually fought in the wars, the Revolutionary War and things. Um, they were God-fearing men. They were men that, that uh, read the Bible that uh, were very moral compared to men today. Um, reason number two, that there will be no Revolutionary War, that there will be no bringing back this country... Remember that the men who fought in the Revolutionary War, uh, they could come out into an area like this with very few tools and build a house and get food every day. They weren't going to the grocery store. There were no grocery stores. They were the ultimate off-grid survivalist type of guys. Normal back then. How many men today that would consider themselves patriots, how many men could live completely without grocery stores, build their own house out in the woods? clear the land, plant a field without a tractor. And you want to compare yourself as a, as a modern patriot to those great men of the past. Not happening. Um, <laughs> those were guys that could fight. You know, there was an old uh, Methodist circuit riding preacher from back in those years uh, named Peter Cartwright. And when he was a young man, you know, one of the ways he made money, uh, they made gunpowder. They found a cave with some sulfur and some saltpeter, I think it was, in it. And they'd take charcoal and saltpeter and, and uh, sulfur, and they'd grind it up, and they'd make gunpowder, and they'd go to the different forts up and down the river, and they'd sell it to the soldiers, selling gunpowder. Young men going out, getting in nature, making black powder, essentially. And we have modern patriots that can do the same. Uh, I don't think so. No, the fact of the matter is, there will be no revolution. This country is gone. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. Oh, we'll, we'll have a war with China. <laughs> well, that would probably work as long as we can work out a contract with the Chinese that they'll keep making uniforms and keep making, you know, our stuff for us so that we can continue to fight them. <laughs> the industry's gone, okay? And you look at the stuff that was made back in the 1800s and going back on thrill the artistry of it, the, the creativity, the, the huge industrial strength and mass of it. You take steam engines and, and a lot of the old things like that, old buildings and things from the 1800s. How many men in America could even build that stuff anymore? Could even engineer those things in their minds? I have no clue. I have no clue. Um, I mean, I'm, I live off grid. Uh, and there's a lot of things I do that that people think are backward and whatever else, but comparing myself to a founding father, no comparison. They were 10 times the man that I am. And somehow we can expect the same kind of fighting and warfare that those guys did. Not happening. Um, this nation, if it had any chance of going back to any kind of freedom, would have to repent, completely repent of the sins and the wickedness and everything else. And I just don't see that happening. Um, this nation is going to be taken over by foreign powers. Um, first fighting within and then fighting from without. Uh, they're going to cause fighting from within through immigration, through communistic movements and things coming in to destroy this country. Um, they're going to just tear down nationalism. They make you ashamed if you're a white man. If you're a black man and you stand for the Bible and whatever else, well, they'll make you ashamed too. They'll say you're trying to act like a white man. And, you know, and name any other, any other kindred, any other race. Um, if you believe in a nation and say it should be a sovereign nation, well, the media is against you. And they're going to make you look bad. They're going to demonize you. Uh, 
there is no chance to bring back this nation. You say, well, then what hope do we have? Well, first and foremost, get right with God. And I don't mean going to church and I'll say a little prayer or something. No, no. I'm talking, you get down on your knees and you ask God to forgive you for all the wicked, vile, filthy things that you've done. And you clean up your speech and you clean up your life. You get saved. You know, I'm not saying in that order. I'm saying you get saved first and the Lord will help you clean up your life. But, uh, massive repentance is what is needed in this nation um and you say well it's not going to happen on a national level yeah it won't but you can do it on your level you can do it with your family you know joshua said in the old testament as for me and my house we will serve the lord he didn't say as you know i'll get everybody to serve the lord we'll, we'll bring back a godly nation no it starts with you and your house you start there um that's the only hope for this nation uh, to form small clans, small tribes of uh, people that, that understand, men that understand, hey, um, my rights come from God. So whatever liberals in Washington, whatever the goofballs down there with a the little sideshow freak show that that is now, um, it's all, all, all the politics in Washington, D.C., it's only a sideshow to demoralize nationalistic men, uh, men with a little bit of red blood left in their veins. That's all it is. Don't even waste your time with it. Um, I think the last selection selection uh, was enough to prove that. There is no chance of voting anybody into power or whatever else. Uh, make Jesus Christ your king. Just say, uh, those are against my God-given rights. Uh, Jesus Christ is my Lord. He is my Savior, and I will follow Him and Him alone. Um, oh, look, they passed a law saying that I can't have a gun anymore. Well, my God says I can. I'm going to have a gun. Um, oh, look, they passed a law saying I can't preach and teach the Word of God anymore. Sorry, my God says I'm supposed to, and I will. You're not going to stop me. Um, that's where this country needs to go. That's where the men of this country need to go. Um, to have a happy, nice little thing and whatever else. I mean, th th just think about the Donald Trump thing real quickly here. Um, Donald Trump, oh, he's our man. He can, he can make America great again. He's a liberal city boy. He's an actor. He deceived you up there lying saying we had the greatest economy ever then why are you bailing out the banks why are you bailing out the people sending out stimulus checks that's not the greatest economy ever it's not all right the greatest economy ever um that hasn't been around for over 100 years okay uh they took gold and silver away they took copper away you know, for crying out loud. The modern copper pennies aren't even pure copper like they once were, essentially. I mean, they weren't 0.999, but you get my point here, over 90% copper. The new ones are, I think, 5% copper or something. It's basically copper paint over zinc. Um, we've been robbed. And uh, to think that you're somehow, you know, oh, maybe the next election cycle or uh, whatever else, we're going to have a military coup and they can declare martial law and we'll get our country back or something. We're not getting our country back. There's no, there's, it's, it's gone. It's been gutted. Um, so you can either keep believing the vain hopes out there or you can put your faith in Jesus Christ and say, God is my savior and I will live as sinlessly as I can with God's help. I'll fight against sin. I'll fight against wickedness. I'll be a righteous man. And uh, then you have a chance. But without that, there is no chance. There is no bringing back this nation. It's over. So uh, quit trying to compare yourself to the Founding Fathers. Um, that time's over, okay? Uh, they're gone. Uh, oh, it'd be nice to be able to do that. It'd be nice to be able to uh, have the Founding Fathers and whatever and get America back to its glory of the past or whatever else. Well, Maybe, but uh, it's not happening. So you might as well just move forward and get on with life and just say, you know, God help me to fight whatever I have to fight in the future. Help me to take the stands I need. Help me to not care about what the media says about me or thinks about me or whatever else. And let's get a strong King James Bible reading remnant of men in this country here in America. Don't read the new versions. They're from the Vatican. And that's another thing, you know, understand that a lot of the founding fathers were very much anti-Catholic. Um, not meaning that they hated people just because they were Catholics, but, but understand that the uh, Catholic Church um, 
is a dual allegiance. If you're a Roman Catholic, your allegiance is first to the Pope, second to your country. Well, then you're a traitor. Um, you can't be a national patriot uh, if you are a Catholic. Can't happen. Um, your allegiance is to the Pope, to a foreign nation. You are a... Uh, that's that's uh, treachery. It's tyranny. It's, it's being a traitor. So... Uh, if you want any kind of freedom in the future, then the freedom has to come from God. You're not going to get it from laws and um, the different men and politicians out there and whatever else. Uh, you know, I never thought I would live to see the day. I think the most vexing thing to me as a preacher is seeing uh, tough men in this country, men that I know are loggers and, and farmers and whatever else, with a face mask on. All because of a virus that 97% of the people that get it recover from it. You can get it and you don't even know you had it. And Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Uh, the government told me to do it so I have to wear this stupid thing and whatever else. Um, grow up. <laughs> I mean, if you, you know, I'll just say this in closing with my little rant here. If, you, if you're not man enough to just say I'm not wearing a face mask, how in the world are you going to stand if, if shooting starts or if some kind of a civil war starts or whatever else or the chinese invasion after the civil war how are you going to stand up you don't even have enough guts to to take off a face mask and say i'm not wearing it <laughs> so that's going to be it god help you um i can't um there's no well you know uh brian denlinger he's a he's a preacher uh hellfire and damn damnation type of preacher and he can help raise up the calls, God's calls, and we'll raise up an army. And uh, yeah, no, and that's another thing. Let me just say this too. Um, back in the past, in the 18th century, with this, with the uh, revolution, revolutionary war. Well, government types of people, the British, and the average man were about equally matched with their firearms. Uh, that's not the case anymore. Uh, American patriots or whatever trying to take on military powers like China or whatever else not happening not happening the militaries of, of foreign countries are so far advanced of what the citizenry of this country have um, your only help is, is God your only hope is Jesus Christ without him you're not going to make it so you better get saved that's all I can say um, things are going to start to change in this country there's violence coming you can feel it if you have any kind of brains at all, you can feel it. You know it's coming. You know that there's some real chaotic stuff ahead. You better have the right God. You better have the right Bible. That's all I can say.